After trying to rehab, you know, I left that Maryville Academy and went out to San Diego actually that day to try to rehab. Uh, put all my efforts into it and then came back and spent a couple more weeks trying to see if I could get over that hump of uh, not feeling the way I felt and my body screamed at me. It said, you're done. No player has played more games as a Chicago Bear than Pat Manley. Were you blessed or lucky? It's both. That's a good way to put it. It's both. I mean, blessed is one is, you know, thank my mom and dad for uh, good genetics, being taller and bigger, and then finding out at an early age that I had the skill to long snap. Um, and then lucky is, is avoiding a big injury. Patrick Manley. I got to take a selfie with Coop real quick. 670 the score. Now you're a talk show host. Now mm -hmm. you're on the dark side. Right, right. Uh, how's the transition going? It's been fun. It's a lot of work. Um, more than you thought? Mm, no, because I, I talked to people and they kept telling me it's a lot more work. It's just not four hours of talking. It's getting up early and preparing and reading the stories from the night before. It's the prep from the night before. It's making sure you're watching all the games. The obvious big question is, while well, he played, a lot of guys that are his mm -hmm. friends are still on the team. Pat Manley will not be able to criticize. How are you handling that? I, I always said that was one of the big questions that they asked me is, how are you going to do it? I said, I'll evaluate the team like a coach. I'll evaluate hockey like a coach, how I see it through a former player's eyes and like a coach. Do you think you and I will be having this conversation 10, 15 years from now, you still being a talk show host? It's kind of a day-to-day -day job. I, I feel like I'm on a trial basis. I feel like I was my rookie year. Like I just want to make it to one year and see if I'm good enough and they'll bring me back. So that, it is, it's, it's funny you say that because that's the way I feel. Like I'm a rookie all over again in that sense that I have to prove myself, I have to work hard, and hopefully I can become better and maybe it does turn into something 15 years I'm still doing it.